BestBookBits.com presents the Jordan Belfort Selling Machine, the power of persuasion using the Wolf of Wall Street's straight line system. Here is a preview of what the Jordan Belfort Selling Machine contains. A look into Belfort's background. Chapter 1, Basic Rules of the Straight Line Persuasion System. Chapter 2, The Power of the Mind and the Setting of Goals. Chapter 3, The Prospects. Learn how to swiftly identify customers using Jordan Flawless Method. And Chapter 4, Calculating Sales and Projector Performance, How to Unlock Your Dream Lifestyle. And Chapter 5, The Process of Persuading How to Put It All Together, and much, much more. The written and audio summary can be found on our website, bestbookbits.com. So without further ado, I bring in the book summary of The Jordan Belfort Selling Machine. Number one, three tenets of the straight line persuasion. Persuading is helping people to overcome the internal obstacles that prevent them from taking action. Jordan Belfort says that the key to selling is to maintain control of the interaction. And that's why he's coined the term straight line. You want to lead the prospect straight to the sale. These are the three tenets of Jordan Belfort's straight line persuasion. Number one, develop rapport quickly. Number two, gather intelligence. Do they have the money? Is the product a good fit? Are they ready to go? And number three, control the interaction. Controlling the interaction means that without breaking rapport or pushing, you gently nudge the prospect back towards the straight line, towards the sale. Number two, art of prospecting. Prospecting means finding people who are interested while at the same time you're weeding out those who aren't going to buy without wasting any of your time. Qualify as quickly as possible while still keeping rapport and use a script similar to the advice of other sales beasts such as Brian Tracy. Belfort recommends you work backwards from the amount of money you want to make yearly until the amount of reach out you need to do daily. The three keys here are, number one, be enthusiastic as hell. Number two, sharp as a tact. And number three, a figure of authority. Number three, master internality. This is where straight line persuasion starts hitting its strides. Belfort begins with my favorite part of the course, reading the script and breaking down what works and what doesn't. He focuses on tonality here, and as you can imagine, it cannot be properly explained in text. Belfort says that tonality develops rapport at an unconscious level. Take, for example, this script. Hi, John. This is... I'm calling from Global Capital in Tampa, Florida. How's it going today? When you raise your voice at Florida, you show pride of your job and conviction. Great. Now, if you recall, you attended the seminar last Friday at the Married Hotel with one of our top... Forex traders, James Arnold. Does that ring a bell? Go up at the end of each block as if you were adding right and agreeing with him. You will build an unconscious yes ladder. When you slowly raise your voice at ring a bell, it communicates you expect them to remember. Now, if you recall, use a tone of mystery at now if you recall, which you achieved by stressing the ka portion in recall and going slightly up as if you were asking them a question. Squint your eyes so that your body language naturally supports your tonality. The tone of mystery will nudge them into searching into their minds of their experience. Genius. Okay, great. Now the reason for the call today. Drop your voice here so it sounds like you're sharing an insider secret and it implies scarcity. Read Influence by C. Ladini for more on scarcity. Is that you're one of the last of the group who hasn't actually enrolled yet. Put one of the last of the groups all together and you should sound sharp like a tact. I'd like to share an idea with you. You've got a minute? Go up at you got a minute to sound what Belford calls the reasonable man effect. Number four, being a visionary. People won't buy into your goals, but they will buy into your vision. This is why Belford also mentions it's important that you find your why. In this module, Belfort steps back live coaching and demonstrates to go into more theoretical knowledge of sales, human psychology, and body language. Some good wisdom I enjoyed. Dress for success. No goatees or pinky rings. Stand directly in front when talking to a woman. Stand at an angle when speaking to a man. For more on body language, read the definite book on body language, the like switch, and what everybody is saying. Number five, in a game of sales. In this module, Belfort delves into the personal mindsets and beliefs that makes a successful salesperson or successful person, period. He talks, for example, about the importance of mastering your emotional states, facing your fears, and setting lofty goals. Also read The Magic of Thinking Big. Number six, the straight line system. Here, Jordan Belfort goes back into the actual selling process. 
He explains the three tenets of closing, such as the elements that need to line up in the moment of time when your prospect is ready to buy. Number one, they love your product. Number two, they trust and connect with you. And number three, trust your company. The more personal the questions are, the more you should make them sound offhanded and informal. For example, out of curiosity, what are you trading right now? If he talks a lot, don't interrupt, but don't go off tangent with chit-chat and unrelated topic. Emphasize, make a comment, and then go back to the straight line. You're a busy professional. Respect his and your time. Number seven, the art of qualifying. Straight line persuasion goes back here into my favorite part, going through the straight line scripts with live coaching. Here are a few examples. How much money do you have in the stock market? Just the ballpark. Whenever you ask someone about money, always, always go into a disarming tone. Imagine you are putting your hands in the front of you with your open palms, as if to say, no pressure, just a ballpark. This part was possibly the most awesome of them, all for me. Huge learning for me. Are you looking for that right now, or do you have to raise the money? Another gem in par with the above one. The volunteer got the tonality completely wrong at first and blush, I totally missed it. Then Jordan Belfort delivers the same line and explains the difference. Since this is a highly probing question, you have to deliver it of factually with infection. That says, we know it is, no big deal. Just tell me, maybe I can help you. Just for suitability purposes, how would you say your current financial situation is right now? With this one, you communicate rapport and that your questions are just for suitability purpose. Otherwise, you too could have a friendly chat with a beer. Number eight, the presentation. In this section, Jordan Belfort goes into the actual presentation of your offer. He explains the perfect tonalities to communicate. Scarcity, certainty, disarming. The parts I like most, how to box people in with the integrity. Create urgency in the last part of the script and use a soft close, such as sounds fair enough, how to emotionally drive the prospect towards a state of certainty. Handling rejections with looping. And number nine, power of language. Straight line persuasion delves here into the nitty gritty of language and words choices. Here are some gems. Virtually. Virtually gives you free reign to make as many bold claims as you want without committing 100% or lying. Huge upside with a little downside. People are naturally inclined to look for the worst case scenarios. This sentence addresses their fears while also allowing them to dream at the same time. Incredibly easy to get started. People are lazy. They don't want to do the legwork after agreeing. Remove the fear of big time commitment. If they're afraid of the consequences, it says it's incredibly easy to modify or change the terms. It's a long-term relationship. It assumes you're closing soon. Reassures them and builds rapport. Please don't misconstrue my enthusiasm for pressure in case you feel you've been coming off too strong. Get progressively more convincing as you get closer to the close. If you only do half as well as my clients, all I ask is that you give me a shot. Believe me, you won't be sorry. And number 10, becoming a person of influence. Jordan Belfort says you must respect if your customer cannot afford the product or if the product is not good for him. But you should not accept a stall. If he doesn't like the product but you feel it's perfect for him, look back until you convince him with logic. If the store is emotional, educate him on your company and your company building rapport. Finally, Belfort reinstates again the importance of building relationships based on honesty and trust. And that's a wrap on Jordan Belfort Selling Machine. Subscribe to our channel and take a look at the hundreds of book summaries uploaded previously. To find hundreds of written summaries, check out our website, bestbookbits.com. And for hundreds of audio podcast summaries, find us on mixcloud.com forward slash best book bits. If you like reading and want to get involved in sharing knowledge and spreading great book summaries, connect with myself and join the team by emailing info at bestbookbits.com to join us. Thanks for watching and listening and have yourself an amazing day. Take care.